Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a wrap up of week number seven in our Road to 200k challenge. This was a quite eventful week and uh, probably this video will be a little bit longer than the previous ones because there are a lot of things to talk about. There are also a lot of calculations to be made in our scoreboard right here. And so, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, first and foremost, and talking about the main highlights of, of the week, were that on, on Wednesday, the market opened uh, coming down, opened down, uh, due to the fact that the US inflation report came out. And even though the headline inflation came in line with the um, expectations of investors for August, the, the core inflation, which is the inflation that discounts food and energy prices, was higher than expected. And also the July inflation was corrected and was corrected upwards. And so this raised uh, a red flag uh, across among investors who felt that inflation may not be completely under control. And this may cause the Fed to keep either interest rates as they are or to make a smaller cut, such as the one that investors are mostly hopeful which is a 50 basis points cut and so they they were there there were fears that probably only uh, a 25 basis point uh, cut will be in the pipeline for this coming week as the fed meeting will be on september the 17th and the 18th however uh, because i had made a deposit of around 3k I use those funds as, as collateral to sell more puts, specifically on, on Lyft. And why is that? Because among the trades that uh, I was interested in doing, uh, because of course we, we are focused on getting rid of the stocks that we currently have, and so Hims, American Airlines, uh, Lyft and Hims uh, and Fork Motor Company, are, are the prime target targets for us and so I decided to sell puts on lift which is right here the trade because I felt that was the most profitable ones among those potential options and so that's what I did however and strangely enough later in the day the market had completely turned around and so and by the closing by, by closing the market was up very much up <laughs> I would say especially the most volatile stocks had completely skyrocketed and apparently this happened simply because uh, during the day the CEO of NVIDIA which we know has been a completely MVP uh, uh, in, in the US in the US stock market the, the CEO of NVIDIA made a public statement boasting the soaring demand for NVIDIA's products and so this caused stock the NVIDIA stock to finish the day up 7% and the stock started the day by trading uh, on as a, in a loss and so it completely reversed the losses and ended up the day 7% and this dragged the market the rest of the market along with it and for me this is a clear sign of how much power and sway specific corporations and their key people hold over the the overall market this is very very impressive by any means anyway uh, because of this the puts that i sold on monday on hymns and on lift were down to 0.01 all right and so that is why as you can see right here i decided to buy back these puts on lift that i sold on on monday and uh, i decided to use this collateral to sell american airlines puts because yeah i just wanted to see if i could um, basically lower the average price of the of the holdings that i have uh, as for the hymns puts because the stock is very volatile, uh, I decided uh, that I would rather keep it because if the stock come crash crashing down again, the puts would allow me to buy more shares. And so this would allow me 
as a result to lower the, the average price of my holdings and so I decided to keep those puts until maturity. Uh, the next day, on, on Thursday, the ECB, the European Central Bank, lowered interest rates by 25 basis points and uh, the, I believe the US market reacted positively because uh, the stocks, the, especially the most volatile ones, went soaring again and uh, especially the ones who were most, uh, most punished recently, such as HIMSS, which uh, came, went, went up by 5 or 6%, I believe. However, on Friday, and this is a big day for us, the market went up again and the HIMSS stock right here surpassed the 16.50 uh, strike price of my calls. I have this call right here, which is currently in the money, but it only expires next week. And uh, I, al I also had, as you probably remember, another uh, call with a 17.50 strike price expiring last Friday, September the 13th. And so since the stock uh, was up almost 6% for the day, I thought it would be very unlikely that it would go up like another 5 or 6% on top of that to reach the strike of the the call for with the strike of 17 and uh, and a half and so because of that and i really wanted to start to get rid of some of the some of the the, the, the stocks that i have and because 16 and a half was the price i wanted to sell all of them basically what i did is that i decided to buy back those calls which are right here the calls with the strike of 17 and a half I bought them that I bought them back I think I may have realized a small uh, capital loss in here but we'll see in the calculations and then I used the the stocks the underlying stocks as a collateral to uh, sell calls with a strike below with a 16.5 and so this of course making this replacement because these are in the money and these were not. Of course, I made uh, a, this was a very profitable trade, ended up being making a profit out of this. And uh, as I mentioned, I did this because uh, the average price of my HIMS holdings, as I mentioned before, is 16.36. And so if I sell my entire stake at 16.5, I will make a, a capital gain overall, even though these uh, four, 1400 shares underlying these options uh, were, uh, were were bought at a much higher price but overall the entire holding of the 2200 uh, shares that i had uh, were uh, the average price was 16.36 and so if, if i sell my entire stake at this price i will, this will be enough to get out of the trade of the of the stake of of him stock at the, at the profit and also, uh, I will also have the profit of all the premiums that I collected uh, along the way. So basically, uh, this is what I did. This replacement was also, uh, I think, a good move. And so I still have, as you can see right here, uh, the eight calls, which have this 800 stocks as a collateral with a 16.5 strike. And so the, currently this option is in the money because the stock last price was 16.56. We will have to see what happens next week. But if these are sold next week because this uh, option is assigned, yeah, basically this, that's what I want and I will be a very happy man <laughs> having got out of this trade with a profit of in terms of capital and in terms of the premiums. But yeah, this will have to, to be seen uh, at, the end of, at the end of the following week. And so this is what happened for the week. Uh, and so let's see now what are uh, our outcomes in terms of all the, the trades that we put in. This was a very, very optimistic and hopeful week for us because yeah, we start to see the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to get rid of the stocks that we wanted to really get rid of. 
All right, so let's start by inputting this trade over here, this put. Uh, and because, of course, as you can see right here, the this the, the stock remained above, finished the, the week above 11, that particular put uh, on lift expired worthless. All right, and so let's just input this in our scoreboard. So the trade is right here. All right. So this was a put on lift, All right? The strike price was 11. These are actually also four puts, all right? And the premium was 0 0.07 and the fees were 51 cents, all right? So so 0 0.07 and 51 cents, all right? The trade took place at 11 of September, all right? Here, it expired at 13, and we let it go until maturity. It expired worthless, right? And here, it simply expired. All right. It was a very handsome, tr uh, very handsome return, as you can see right here on annualized terms, of course. So I'm very happy with this trade. As I mentioned, I bought back these puts at one cent. I paid 1.21 in fees. So this is, of course, the trade here. 1.21 fees. This was closed and this was also on the 11th all right here and let's see yeah this is also a very good a very good trade very profitable as you can see right here all right so this is it we then sold puts on american airlines the strike was 10 and the premium we received were two cents all right, probably it's better if I can go up here because this is a similar trade that I did before. All right, actually here it's only four puts. This one right here was on September the 11th. Yeah, kind of ironic, selling puts on American Airlines on, on September 11th. Who would have thought of that? Oh my God, yeah. With all due respect to all those that, uh, yeah, perished on that sad, sad day. Uh, and so, yeah, this is it. The premiums are two. And let's see the fees. The fees, I actually had some credits. So I had a credit of 75 and I paid fees on this one, 86. So the difference is 11. I paid then as a result a net 11 in commissions and I believe these expire also worthless as you can see right here these expired worthless all right and so let's go back to our scoreboard expired worthless expire yeah this was a less than optimal trade but yeah still reasonable nonetheless all right let's see right here the next one uh and this is the one all right this is done this is done all right now we'll see whether we made the profit or not by replacing by <laughs> on the on the put on the calls that i bought back so apparently we bought those back at four cents and we had to pay a commission 182 plus 243 so 243 or 43 and 22 uh, 43 cents plus 82 is one dollar and 25 so with three so it's 425 all right so in here the commission I paid was 425 
and I paid four cents for each of them. Ended up breaking even. All right, I had a small, I had a small gain of two dollars, but yeah, it's better than taking a loss for sure. And this was on Friday. These are already on Friday. All right, so let's just copy here. Yeah. This is something that I usually do not do because, of course, I close the trade on the day it would mature. But I felt it was a necessary step to really get start to get rid of these 1,400 stocks. And also, as you can imagine, this has a, a, the advantage of uh, releasing some buying power, which will be useful to increase our profitability. Because instead of being locked uh, into having to sell calls with this collateral, I, instead of using the stocks as collateral to sell calls, I, I use the money or the funds to sell puts. And so I have more scope of options, uh, of choices to make a profit out of these resources. And so this is always a preferred way to, to trade. But yeah, it ended up being all, all right. Now here are the puts that I sold. These are 14 puts, all right, at the price of 27. I will make a calculation shortly on the commissions. We'll see. All right. And then I sold him's calls. All right. These ones right here. All right. This is 16.5. And the trade was on this. This was a stock that would expire on the same day. All right. Let's just copy here. This the I received twenty seven. All right. Let's see how much I pay for the commit. Pretty hefty amount. All right. Let's see. So this was two point twelve plus four point ninety five plus. To 83 so I paid nine euro nine dollars and nine cents all right so nine point nine all right and this one ended up being assigned as you can see right here these this these options were assigned and so I was forced to sell 1400 him stock at a price of 16.5 and I received an amount of 23,100. All right, so no commissions, all right. The stock was assigned. Not sure why there is the, oh, I see, all right. Because apparently I, I, I messed up here the, the formula. Let's see. Wait. Oh, I see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Never mind. So I did probably some dragging, and this ended up. All right. So this was 27, as we know. All right. Now this is correct. Let me just save it. All right. This is correct. For some reason, this is giving me an error. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, I did some dragging probably, and but now, yeah, now this is correct. Yeah, this is correct. Good. So, uh, this was assigned. All right. Now, now I believe I have to make some corrections here on the price of the live on the him stock, because there may be some things that may be here not correct. So these are the him stock. All right. And now I no longer have this these uh, 300 stocks, all right? So I need to change here things a little bit because now uh, what happened was that I, for example, here I bought these stocks at 23.5, all right? And now I sold them at 16.5, as you can see right here, all right? So, but in the meantime, I also received this 
premium over here which is already there and i received this premium over here right so for these three 300 stocks i have to add here right and as well this g81 is a cell where is the the price of which i sold i, I bought the shares which is 23 and a half so i'm gonna have to make a parenthesis here and add the value at which i sold the, the shares which is this strike price over here and what's going to show up is that i had a loss of 14.87 per stock all right so let's just remove the denominator which is which tell us the price per stock and let's put the price overall let's left the absolute value overall so on this batch of shares i had a loss of 1462 euros all right not good but we will see that in the end it will be a profitable trade and i'll show you again why so here the same reasoning occurs now this stock here was bought this 100 shares only one contract 100 shares were bought at 2250 all right as you can see here and then i need to add right here the premium which is why we are dividing one by 14 because it's only one contract out of the 14 we had right so we add this premium that we received i mean the the, the result or the profit from this particular call all right and now we are going to do the same thing right here right this is the price at which i bought the shares and so and this is now we're going to add the the price at which we sold the shares all right we had a loss of course of 2.7 2.70 dollars per share so let's have the absolute value over here and so i had a loss of 269 270 euros give or take all right never mind this value over here this value is not relevant anymore all right because basically this value is um, this 1462 is the value of the sum of all the trade all the trades and premiums everything that is re related to this particular set of shares so this value is no longer significant this is the correct one and the same reasoning goes right here all right so these are 400 shares now let's look for the trade for of the 10 contracts the 10 contracts we did on hims which is right here and this one will come out in a profit because i bought these shares at 15.50 all right so let's do the same reasoning right here all right for the same here these for these uh, particular stocks we had this premium and we also received this one this uh, not this premium this profit and this profit right here and now let's do the same thing by the way uh, if any one of you do not understand the reasoning behind these calculations just send me a message or uh, through linkedin or, a, or in the comment section in this video and i will show you why these calculations were made like that all right and so i can explain everything to you now uh and now uh, all that remains is right here taking out this this denominator to have the, the value through the the exact value the absolute value and so i had this profit right here on these shares by the way this value over here which is the as you as i explained before it is the market uh, value the the mark to market value when i bought the shares all right the value the loss that i had on each share was this one when the shares were assigned 
this value right here is no longer relevant so what i'm going to do is basically do the same i did before in previous trades and so in order to make this scoreboard relevant what i'm going to do is put here on a zero and i'm going to put this this cell on green to make sure that all right this is because this i put this in green because this is because i i closed this trade and so i'm going to do the same on the other ones all right to make sure that we keep track of whatever we whatever happened before was because now it was mark to market but now we close the trade the mark to market is no longer relevant and so i'm going to do the same thing here all right and so yes here and here this mark to market is also no longer relevant so here and this, put it zero and because we no longer have these shares again to put this in green and so as i mentioned this these losses are the the sum of all the premiums we received plus the capital loss that we had all right and this is the same reasoning here this result is a result of the sum of all the premiums gained with the calls on this stock plus the loss the capital loss we had and so that is why it is like that i believe we we did the same thing here all right so for the time being we are after selling all of these shares we are still in a capital loss position all right and i will show you here as so far this trade had we we have gained 1400 1470 euros and 88 cents and we had a loss of 269.96 minus 1462.09 right so we are still at a loss all right of three a little bit more than 300 dollars but but once we sell these remaining shares all right the shares that you can see right here all right once we sell these remaining shares here we will be in the green and why is that because even without accounting for the premiums all right let's just put this right here so um wait three four 27 uh this is negative all right so if i add to here the 800 shares open the parentheses and i sell them at 16.5 and keep in mind that i bought these shares at 14 dollars each all right so if i take out the acquisition price this will be 2.5 dollars per share i will have this profit overall all right which will be a very very profitable trade even though given the collateral the amount of money we put into this trade is not that much in percentage terms but on absolute terms it's a very nice it's a very nice profit so yeah this is it for for this trade now and let's continue on to see if there is anything left in here to do so as we can as you could see these trades were done these shares were assigned and now um this uh, lift puts worth expire worthless the american airlines also as well but we already did this we already put this in our scoreboard as you can see right here so all that remains is these two uh and this is still as well this this call all right so the is call as you can see right here expired worthless all right this coming this is a trade coming from the previous week so this expired worthless 
right expire All right it gave us a nice profit of 270 but of course the the annualized trade is a little bit less because um because it was a, a trade that took place over two weeks and so that is why in annualized terms this is not as correct this is this is not as high uh, but it is what it is this hymns put also expired worthless all right because of course the stock ended the day at uh, over um 16.5 and so this simply expired worthless here expired this was a much better trade as you, as you can see here and also we managed to get rid of our pfizer stock all right because this stock was assigned and why is that as you can see here the pfizer shares were assigned the stock ended in the end of the day above the 29 and so i had to sell the i was forced to sell the shares at 29 but i also bought them at 29 so i broke even on the price and i collected the premiums basically all right as you can see and uh, yeah this this space will be left blank because this this is the call on him that i still have uh, remaining still have live and now we have also other calculations to make which is basically going to look yeah here it is the pfizer shares first and foremost this mark to market will go away because it's no longer relevant let's just put this in green right here and the pfizer also turn green right and uh for now let me see yeah this is it we are going to see all right this is already considering the 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 profit on the call here uh, yes it is also already considering now here because we receive we paid 29 for the stock all right as you can see here we pay 29 and we sold it at 29 here so we have no capital gain or loss we broke even so all of this section of the formula goes away right and and the denominator also goes away and let's see what how much we did in profit actual profit and we profited almost 100 166 dollars all right and what is this once again as you can see it is the result of all the premiums we collected right as you can see all the premiums we collected on these uh on these stocks because we sold calls on those stocks and no capital gain or loss so we broke even on the on the price and so these are just a result of the premiums all right and so this is basically it uh let me see these are the covered calls all right so yeah and yeah, let's just this right here and so what i'm going to do basically is to say here because we need to put some some comments to make sure we keep track of everything 200 shares sold all right wheel done with zero capital gains and profits with zero capital gains or losses and 165.95 profit from premiums this is something that we also we should always do to keep track of whatever is happening all right so this is it and we should also also do the same here all right here it is now we sold sh shares all right the wheel is partially done with 
with a capital loss of yeah three hundred and fourteen plus twenty seven all right capital loss fourteen point twenty seven with a capital loss of three um, a capital loss and with, with an overall result because this is a net amount overall loss of because this is the result of the capital loss plus the premiums so this is it this is now correct right and yes this is it all right this is good and i believe this is now correct yeah all right i think we managed to do everything we needed to do uh yeah this was a quite eventful eventful week and yeah i believe we covered everything now yeah this is it as you can see here in terms of our uh, main result our gains and losses which of course it's not accurate because there are still some values here which are marked to market because i still hold some shares so this will be higher when i uh, when i closed the these trades and i turned completely the wheel but yeah for now this is it this was a quite positive week and hopeful that for the for the following week i will get rid of the rest of the hymns shares and now that we have more buying power available because we sold some shares we'll start to work on the other shares and try to get rid of them for now the priority will be the lift because the lift is a little bit more volatile than the others so and it would be better if we would start to get rid of it slod has taken a huge 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 hit but the stock has value uh, this is a good stock probably it was a little bit expensive by that when when i bought them uh, when i bought those shares but we'll keep them for the time being and leave it for last unless of course some op good opportunity arises to try to get rid of the stock uh, sooner but for that for, for the time being lift is a priority and then either american airlines or for for motor company are the other ones we want to get rid of probably probably if i feel that the opportunity arises i will try to sell uh, some puts on him as well but it's of it's more unlikely and why because since the the stock is currently at 15 66 16 dollars and 50 cents uh the puts that are available for us to sell uh, are I would say not very good in terms of the of the price of the premium because for me selling puts at uh, 16 or 15.5 doesn't matter to me i don't want this because i don't want to buy stocks again at this value because this will only bring the average value uh, of the whole of my remaining holdings uh, down by a very small margin so it these would be the ones i would be interested about the 13.5 the 14 because this is something that would make a big difference in terms of the average price but because the average price of my remaining holding is 14 it only makes sense to sell more puts at 13.5 13 12.5 so this trade i will probably not do and so i will wait for the the price simply to stay uh, above the 16.5 and basically try to get rid of them of the rest of the of the of the of the stocks that i have and so i can focus on the other ones the four the american airlines and the lift basically and so for now this is it uh, let's look forward for the week number eight 
and yeah i'll see you all in the in the next one but uh yeah feel free to leave your comments below and have any, if you have any questions uh, yeah any suggestions please let me know feel free also to like the video and subscribe you can also send me a message as i said on linkedin i'm very very much uh, looking forward to connect and interact with all of you guys and yeah we'll see you all next week